can't. Why you can't? Because the door's not open all the way. It's not open all the way. Open the door some more. Let's see. Open the door some more. He said the door wasn't You done made another bad decision. The door is not open wider. Okay. Guess where you staying tonight? Here. You're damn right you are. Look how big this guy is. Look. He's trying to get out. Chill out, man. What you mean, These are my kids. I'm not going to see my kids no more. Have you tried for all? <laughs> that kid is too smart for his own good, and you know he's seen some ish. Whoa, go back. Beautiful and amazing human beings. My name's Luke Kardowski here of wearechange.org, and there's a lot of absolutely crazy, wild, and bewildering news to get into today, as, of course, the United States is being turned into another crap hole. All of this as we keep giving other governments all of our money. Why are we doing this as the media? Just looks like they're organizing another fake news hoax surrounding the former president of the United States and his statements about the U.S. economy and car manufacturing. What could they muster up from those statements? Well, we're going to be talking about that and the larger implications coming for the 2024 presidential elections that I have a very interesting theory on. We're going to be talking about that, plus all the latest news all here on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you could get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com and highlights all the dystopian novels and the reality that we're living in now. And uh, the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is being shared around everywhere on social media. It is from a series on A&E highlighting a, a troubled young man who, uh, let, let's just be real, calls it like he sees it. He, he's not a liar. He's a, he's a straight shooter, clearly uh, above intelligence from the people around him and a natural stand-up comedian. Hey, this kid's going places, and I want to see where he goes. This says, everywhere around us, things are turning into utter crap holes filled with lawlessness anyway. So I say, hey, let's just uh, elect this guy to be in charge of some kind of city since he probably has more hindsight than all the politicians that are literally leading us on a road to decay and destruction. This says the Daily Mail today is reporting all the violent incidences that have been happening in the United States surrounding squatting and squatting rights. An issue that's being normalized by Democratic politicians, district attorneys, and individuals taking advantage of the system and literally stealing people's homes legally within the purview of the law. This as there have been a lot of surges in these particular cases, as the Daily Mail writes that the American squatting crisis could lead to ever-growing and expanding violence. Something that, of course, has been happening in the very culturally enriched New York City as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's district is being slammed as a third world crap hole as new video just came out highlighting the trash-covered streets that have been overrun by migrants with makeshift flea markets and ladies of the night uh, working uh, the streets. And hey, who doesn't like a good old flea market? But uh, it's fair to say that, that with all the trash, with all the lack of proper sanitation, graffiti everywhere, lawlessness everywhere, that it's becoming a little bit of a burden for the local population living there, just like in California, where residents in San Diego are describing, quote, being trapped in a porta potty as they're going through 700 days of consecutive beach closers due to the trash and raw sewage that is floating from Mexico into California. This has over 100 billion gallons of untreated wastewater has flowed into, into the ocean over the last five years, highlighting a major danger to anyone trying to, of course, swim in the water. This has a lot of illegals also have been coming in through Mexico into the United States with the Biden administration openly welcoming them in as some of them are being documented literally committing crimes and then walking the next day with no responsibility for those actual crimes. And as our country gets thrown more into utter destruction and decay, it's important to know that your politicians are busy sending your money to foreign countries, foreign countries like Taiwan, Ukraine, Israel, as the U.S. House of Representatives now wants to send even more money to these places where American politicians like Chuck Schumer believe 
that with all of the money invested, they have the right to decide who gets to rule over the place. And, and yeah, if you look at American doctrine, we've done this a lot, as of course now U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer is doing this against the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, as Chuck Schumer literally called him a, a quote, obstacle for peace and demanded new leadership in Israel. All of this as the United States also has been given a crap ton of money to South Africa as the country has been cozying up to Iran, Russia, and Hamas, fueling financing both sides of the conflict here. This as our military supplies are running low and Russia is literally threatening a nuclear war. So yeah, as, as America and its empire is crumbling, it's good to know that American politicians have their priorities straight here by not giving a damn about anybody and money laundering and of course wasting it away on the military industrial complex that of course demands their pound of flesh. And as that happens, that's one reason I'm very happy I have LukeUnfiltered.com, my own website, my own platform, where I get to meet local, like-minded individuals. You do as well through our forum, through our in-real-life meetups that we have been doing all throughout the United States. As your support of LukeUnfiltered.com goes towards building and growing hive minds of individuals coming together and helping each other out. As, of course, your memberships also pay for three master classes, a members-only t-shirt store, and a lot of really incredible offers of value. And if you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for? It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Click the link down in the description below and click right here. Fill in a little bit of information and you get emailed back in a login. After that login gets sent to you, you just copy paste it, log in, and you get 10 plus years of exclusive behind the scenes videos that no one other than members get to see. You also get members only t-shirts, and a lot of really cool things. We really do strive and, and work our butts off here for you guys, as of course, these memberships pay for everything. And it really does mean a lot to have your support during these very difficult financial times, as of course, we are affected by these difficult financial times as well. It's not easy doing what we're doing as small and independent content creators need your help more than ever. And we wouldn't be telling you guys that if we didn't. We really do. And again, simply just signing up, LukeUnfiltered.com, $8 a month. It's not a lot. And then if enough people did this, we could do some really awesome, incredible things. We could do some really awesome on the ground reports that could be financed through you, that could build, grow, and expand this brand, this operation, all through your support directly on LukeUnfiltered.com as your memberships also give you a direct link, tell you exactly what's going on behind the scenes here with this independent media organization. We give special prizes to random members too as well. And, and again, truly means a lot. We need your support more than ever. Sign up right now to LukeUnfiltered.com and I will see you there with special video broadcast for you right after these videos as of course we are not done now as hashtag bloodbath is now trending all throughout social media as it looks like a lot of people are taking a small clip from Donald Trump and they're running with the headline that he is allegedly calling for a bloodbath if he doesn't win this next upcoming presidential election now of course those words at first seem very kind of troubling as NBC News wrote their headline saying former President Donald Trump vowed at a rally that there would be a bloodbath if he is not reelected in November. CBS News, Rolling Stones followed suit very similar lines with Elon Musk retreating it with the actual video of what Donald Trump said with the caption, quote, interesting. As of course, here's the full video in its context so you understand it. As of course, Donald Trump did say that there will be a bloodbath, but in a totally different context than what the corporate media is trying to make it seem like he did. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years, 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, 
Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine, all. Yeah, a statement that in its context, it's like, okay, he said that has, of course, the corporate media only likes to play a small snippet of it. As Elon Musk even responded to this particular video on social media saying, quote, yep, hoax making in process and it surprisingly effective. As ABC News has this article, Trump says there will be a bloodbath if he loses 2024 election, ramps up anti-migrant rhetoric. Uh, now, those comments that, that he was making about uh, manufacturing and tariffs wasn't <laughs> related to migrants at all. And, and to say that he correlated bloodbaths and election with migrants is, is uh, r ridiculous here, as, of course, this is sensationalism. This is fear-mongering. This is absolutely yellow journalism at its finest here that uh, should be called out as, of course, they're stringing along small sentences and trying to correlate it with something else that isn't even relative to the topic that was discussed here. As, of course, Nancy Pelosi took to CNN and then, of course, had this to say about the bloodbath comment because he's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? There's something wrong here. How um, respectful I am of the American people and their goodness. But how much more do they have to see from him to understand that this isn't what our country is about? Yeah, no, no, Nancy, that last part you extrapolated a, a, a lot on you, yourself, given your own interpretations of, of what he said here. He never said he was going to enact a, a bloodbath. He was specifically detailing a larger kind of financial concern for the United States if, of course, he does not become the president of the United States, as he was talking in financial terms, as even in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, when you look up bloodbath, Yes, the term is also associated with slaughter, destruction, contest, or struggle, but it's also used to describe, quote, economic disasters. And I, I'm pretty sure with Donald Trump talking about the economy and, and tariffs and auto making and China and Mexico, uh, that, that's what, what he was, of course, describing for the future of America that is facing some very serious financial concerns for the United States. And I, I, I do believe the former president of the United States does deserve to be criticized on a lot of key important issues that he keeps doubling down on, on, on Truth Social, with even his fan base kind of being bewildered by it recently, an issue that sadly we can't talk about here on this particular platform. But when we look at this particular situation, this is definitely an, an extrapolation at that. And uh, it, it's one that a lot of people are going to be seeing and are going to be calling out as fake, especially in the more that people actually get to see the full video, the full context of what the former president of the United States was actually talking about. And when it comes to these latest attack ads, they, they highlight what someone is describing, a, a, a situation that shows just how desperate the, the corporate media and democratic establishment is, as of course they have not a lot of policy to, to run on, not a lot of things that they did to showcase to the American people and they're back to re resorting to making things up out of thin air. And, and again, this statement does, does highlight a, a larger kind of turning point in America as it's being called out directly on social media platforms like Twitter and, of course, other alternative video platforms. But for um, you know the mainline ones, the, the Facebook, the, the WhatsApp, the Instagrams, the YouTubes, I'm not seeing that much of a recall against it as much as I am on Twitter, even though Twitter is kind of there for breaking news. And now when it comes to the meme warfare that is being launched right now, it is it is real. It is an incredible to see a larger pushback against something in real time destroying its legitimacy, as there have been a lot of fake news hoaxes and lies about Donald Trump that have no layer of authenticity in them. As, of course, these lies, these extrapolations, these larger kind of deceitful actions only prop up the man and destroy any kind of legitimate criticism that should be regarded to that individual that no longer is valid because automatically it's correlated with these lunatics that are making stuff up out of thin air. 
And if you truly did care about holding Donald Trump's feet to the fire, you would be calling out these fools more than ever since they prevent that from actually happening in a legitimate, real freaking way. And whether it's the Russian collusion hoax, the steel dossier, the ladies of the night uh, relieving their bowels on the bed in Russia, him calling, uh, you know, 1930s Germans fine people, him uh, allegedly injecting bleach, him overfeeding the koi fish in Japan. Again, so much about this man has been manipulated by the corporate media establishment that it sometimes is hard to find truth from fiction. As now, every time this man's attacked, automatically people respond to fake news. And in many instances, they're absolutely right and correct to do so. And again, these organizations have no shame, and this highlights them losing more and more legitimacy as, of course, Trump's first election highlighted a recall against a lot of the corporate media nonsense that they tried to feed us before, as it looks like they're resorting back to the old tricks old tricks that when implemented with social media censorship worked in the last presidential election. Will it work this time? Well, who knows? There's a lot of alternative media platforms out there right now that do allow people to actually have a real honest conversation, something that the system and establishment is extremely afraid of and is only really being fact-checked and correlated on these alternative media platforms that are also being attacked at the same time. So what will this mean for this upcoming 2024 presidential election? Well, uh, a situation that I believe is going to be a lot of a bigger nail biter than a lot of people expect it to be, as this election is going to be a lot closer than what people believe it to be. Will these lies stand? Well, as of right now, it looks like they absolutely won't. But with people living in echo chambers, living in algorithm bubbles that only regurgitate their own political thoughts and expressions back at them, Will this lie work? Well, only time will tell, but uh, for my kind of uh, analysis and uh, expertise being in the media field for 20 years, it looks like it already fell flat on its face. And if you're a Trump fan, you should be mad at the corporate media. And if you're someone who's critical of Donald Trump, you should be mad at the corporate media, as of course they have provided no actual good service to the American public and are there to deceive you and manipulate you for the special class and interest of individuals who truly do control them and pull their frickin' strings. It's infuriating, no matter where you stand. And if you're not mad, you're not paying attention. If you agree with me, share this video with your friends and family members. It is more imperative than ever that you help this video get out there. Thank you again so much for signing up to LukeUnfilter.com. It really does mean a lot to us. Really, we really, really, really do need your help right now. So if you thought about signing up, now's the time to do it. LukeUnfilter.com. Click the link in the description. It means the world to us. Thank you so much again for being here with us, a part of this independent media broadcast. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, and this is why. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.